All right, so we are still on ratio analysis. We are looking at the second type of ratios now, the liquidity ratios. Now, liquidity ratio, ratios right, actually shows the ability of businesses to pay off their debt without having to invest additional capital. Um, you want your business to be able to do that, right? You want your business to be able to stand on its own without you having to invest additional capital, right? And so these ratios are also important, but obviously they are not as important as the profitability ratios, right? But let's look at them, right? And um, see what we can learn, right? So we have the inventory or the stock, turn, um, stock turnover ratio, right? I kind of struggle with the name because we have been used to this, the, the name stock turnover ratio, right? But now they are coming in with a new name, which is inventory turnover, right? So you have to pay attention to that. Sometimes they may refer to it as stock turnover ratio. Sometimes they may refer to it as inventory turnover. You have to pay attention to that, all right? Now, this ratio actually shows how many times stock is bought. How many times stock is bought? As a matter of fact, that's what turnover means, right? So how many times you buy stock? Now think about it. If you have a business, do you want this ratio to be high or do you want this ratio to be low? Yes, this ratio should be high, right? Because it would mean then that you are buying more stock. More stock you buy, it means that your sales are good. And if your sales are good, then the chances are your profits would be better, not true, right? And so you want this ratio to be high. This ratio, the answer to this ratio is actually in kinds. So the answer, right, that you'll get from this ratio, right, is in kinds. So for example, this ratio you might say four times, five times, right? So this ratio is a very important. The formula is cost of sales divided by average stock, right? Cost of sales divided by average stock. Now you need to know that average stock is something that you have to calculate. Chances are in a question, they may not give you the average stock. You will have to calculate it. As a matter of fact, I've seen where they have given average stock as a type of ratio to calculate or as an item for you to calculate, right? So how do we calculate average stock? Average stock is really opening stock plus closing stock divided by two. And really and truly, anytime you hear the word average, you know, so we are talking about divided by, by something, you know, right? And so it is opening stock plus closing stock divided by two, right? And so that is where you get the average stock. Cost of sales, rem now remember, the, the, the difficult thing about these, this topic, you know, right? It's not so much, to remember the formula because as I tell you before, the names can't help you to remember the formulas, right? But it's actually where to pick up the figures. So you have to know, know where you find cost of sales. Cost of sales is actually what you subtract from your net sales figure to get your gross profit. And you have to remember that, right? So to pick up cost of sales is very important. And when we are practicing, right, in my next video, you will realize um, that, you know, we have to, you have to pay attention to pick up cost of sales. All right, so now let's look at another liquidity ratio. All right, so the second type of liquidity ratio that we'll be looking at is the current ratio. Now the current ratio, right, this is another important ratio. It actually shows, um, you know, how many times your current assets can cover your current liabilities. And you cannot be investing in a business, right, without thinking about the chances of the business going bankrupt. And so this ratio becomes important because if the business goes, goes bankrupt, then you need to know that the, 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 the assets in the business can cover the liabilities of the business, right? And that is what they call liquidating your assets, right? If the assets are not able to cover your liabilities, then you have a situation that is called in business unlimited liability, right? And that is not a good situation because it would mean then that the business is not able to cover the liabilities. And so in order to cover the debts of the business, right, the creditors may take your personal belongings or the personal belongings of the owner or the shareholders. And so you need to ensure that this ratio is a good ratio, right, just in the event of bankruptcy. But more times than not, people entering into business not really thinking about bankruptcy, right, but you still need to know what this is, right? So the current ratio, the formula for the current ratio is extremely simple to remember, extremely easy to remember, because you know that when we're talking about current ratio, let's think about current assets, current liabilities, right? So this current assets divided by current liabilities. Now, the answer for this ratio is given in a, a ratio. Yeah, kind of weird, but yeah, it's given in a ratio. So for example, a good um, current ratio is two to one, 
right or 2.5 to 1 and what this means is that your assets are able to cover your liabilities two times all right your assets are able to cover your liabilities two and a half times and that is good you, you want that right just in case of a bankruptcy you know that you don't need to invest your own personal belongings to cover the debt all right so this is the current ratio right all right now let's look at another type of liquidity ratio which is the acid test ratio or the quick test ratio now the acid test ratio or the quick test ratio is really the current ratio and remember that the current ratio is also called the working capital ratio right the current it is really the current ratio but faster right now if you remember with the covid 19 um in the pandemic they had two tests they had the the, the pcr tests and they, they, they had the the, the rapid test right the pcr is there and the rapid test is obviously much faster it's the same thing with this one right um the current ratio it tests your the, the business's ability to cover its um current liabilities in case of bankruptcy right and the quick test ratio does really really does the same thing the only difference is that it, it is faster and the reason why it is faster is because they don't they don't include one asset or one current asset which is stock right so they don't include um stock and that would make this test be faster right and so the formula for this ratio is what current assets minus stock and this is closing stock by the way right divided by current liabilities now the answer again is in ratio form a good acid test ratio or a quick test ratio is one to one or 1.5 to one all right so you want you want your assets to be able to cover your liabilities right or you know one and a half times 1.5 to 1 all right let's go again all right so let's look at the last two types of liquidity ratios right we have the accounts receivables turnover which is also called debtors to sales ratio and we have the accounts payables turnover which is called which is also called the creditors to purchases um ratio now these two ratios again they are um important ratios they really tell the accounts receivables are the debtors to sales it tells you how quickly your debtors um repay their debt right and the accounts payable turnover are creditors to purchases ratio right it tells you how quickly you pay your creditors right it goes without saying that you want your debtors to repay you quickly right and you want to be able to repay your creditors um you know quickly right maybe not so quickly but yeah you want to be able to pay them back right so these, these two ratios calculate the time it takes for your debtors to repay you and the time you repay your debtors. It takes for you to repay your creditors, sorry, right? So the formula is accounts receivables or debtors, right? Remember that accounts receivables is still debtors. So accounts receivable divided by sales. Multiply by 12 if you want the, the answer to be in months or 365 if you want the answer to be in days, right? Uh, and it will tell you how quickly your debtors repay you. The accounts um payable is turnover or the creditor to purchase is turnover is accounts payable right accounts payable which is creditor creditors divided by purchases right multiply by 12 if you want your answer to be in months and 365 if you want your answer to be in days so there you have it right accounting ratio or ratio analysis right we are going to be looking at in my next video i'll be looking at a past paper um question and so stay tuned for that. See you soon. Remember to like, subscribe, share. Well, good.